Let's go help them first. I reload. It does it automatically, but oh zero? Great, thanks guys. Oh. <laughs> what? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was like through the chest. Awesome. Oh, I think I was supposed to use Dead Eye or something, but whoops. That's okay. Why no Dead Eye is it bad? No, it's actually really good. I just didn't look at the prompts because I was like so into the combat. <laughs> yeah, what's really nice about defending is like all these loots are like right next to each other now. Yeah. Make this nice and smooth. Super nice. You can pick up guns, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Am I planning on 100%ing this game? Um, I'm probably not going to 100% this game just because I have a feeling that 100%ing this game would be like 100 plus hours. Um, that being said, I am going to like thoroughly explore locations and I'm not really sure what my plans are. The thing with this game that's going to be kind of interesting is it's really immersive and it's really good. And it's really fun. But one thing I don't know yet is how am I going to feel about this game in 20 hours? Is it, is it going to be the thing where it's like I'm going to start doing the same stuff over and over and maybe it's going to lose some of its, you know, like magic? Uh, or is it going to be interesting and engaging the entire time? Like, I, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, it also depends on the mission structure. Are we going to start seeing a lot of missions that are very similar? So I feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over, or they're going to keep it really fresh the whole time. Like these, these are things that we'll answer throughout the playthrough. So unfortunately, I don't really have like a, a plan for this one because you guys got to remember, normally I'm not into historical shooters. I didn't even finish the original Red Dead because it's just, it's not really my jam. Some people don't like sci-fi. Some people don't like fantasy. I'm not really big into like historical shooters or historical games in general most of the time. So it's, um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah. Slide down. CDN just did a 12 hour of this stream. Cool, man. I like him. He's a, he's a good dude. I, I bet he's really enjoying it, man. Arthur, get over here. Well, obviously he is if he streamed for 12 hours. One sec, I got bodies to leave. Don't have time to mess around. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Sounds good to me. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. Yes, sir. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. I will say moving around in first person is really pretty wonky. It's very loose. And you walk in like steps and it's kind of weird. But it, it works, surprisingly. I'm surprised it works at all. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. D Soil says, Ko, I love your stream. Well, thank you, man. I, I absolutely love your viewing. So I appreciate that. In fact, I'm going to be blunt. Today is some of the best viewing I've ever seen on Twitch. 
I'm really impressed by you guys today. Not only are you watching, but you're paying attention. You're participating in chat. You're lurking potentially. I'm very impressed. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Thank you. Chat MVP. You're really you're you're really you're really knocking it out of the park today. I appreciate that. It's good. Even the lurkers, even the people that aren't saying anything, you guys are killing it today. You really are. Um, is it in here? Yeah. Oh, maybe the big box that says dynamite. This looks good. Maybe. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Get a room, Co. In chat. Hey, maybe we will. Smells good. <clears throat> Come on. Maybe we will. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Good joke, Dad. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay. Yeah, good good sermon. Good sermon, Dutch. Okay. Uh, I've been seeing this question in chat from multiple people. Let me go ahead and address this real quick. I do plan on playing more Pathfinder. I do plan on eventually finishing Thronebreaker. The next week is going to be a little bit weird because there's some games that I've been really looking forward to coming out and I do want to get some time on them too. But uh, yes, Thronebreaker will be finished. There will be more Pathfinder. But today and tomorrow, we're probably going to be doing Red Dead Redemption 2. And tomorrow, we've got Call of Cthulhu. So that's that's a game I really want to check out. We also have Fortuna, uh, which I which I also very much want to play. So yeah, we, we are going to do Thronebreaker and Pathfinder, but we're going to be kind of like... We're going to be basically like doing all those games I just mentioned until... Uh, the 14th, which is when we're going to like completely get lost in Fallout 76. We going to West Virginia, boys. We going on a vacation. Get your bags packed because we are going to West Virginia and we are going to do everything there is to do there. Um, and then at the end of the month, we have X4, which I'm really excited about. I still don't know what I'm going to do about Darksiders 3. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about Darksiders 3 because that's a game I want to play. But what I'm thinking we may do with Darksiders 3 is just do it right. And maybe at some point down the road, just do like a Darksiders franchise playthrough. Because I've never streamed a Darksiders game. And and they're kind of good games. We don't need to like 100% 1 and 2. Um, but it'd be kind of fun to like blast through the story, right? Whenever we have some time. Like, I think that could be fun. So, yeah. Just keep in mind, I'm, I'm going to be probably skipping lunches. Or at least having shorter lunches over the next couple weeks. And I'll probably be going to 5 instead of my normal 4 o'clock time. Just because... I've got a lot of stuff I want to do with you guys. And uh, we're going to make it happen, man. We're going to make it happen. John says, no Fortuna. Oh, I mentioned Fortuna. Yeah, for sure. There will definitely be... Dude. There there will definitely be more Fortuna. <laughs> yeah. I got to hang out with the, some of the Warframe guys at a party on Saturday night. Good folks, man. Good folks. Got to meet Marcus and Megan and Danielle. Like, they're, they're awesome. They're... They're really cool. And they have something so special with the Warframe community. Like, there were so many people at that meetup. They had the Warframe party the night of the Twitch party. So during the Tenno VIP party, the Twitch party was going on. The partner party, no less. And uh, there were tons of people that went to the, the, the Warframe party over the Twitch party. It was kind of crazy. Um, like, it was, it was really cool. And I uh, got to meet some great streamers. Our King Radnaught was there, channel regular. Love that dude. Love seeing him every time we do. Met uh, Smashly, great Warframe streamer. Uh, part of an awesome team um, that have been kicking ass. Yeah, a lot, lot of great people there. A lot of great people. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John back. Should be quiet for this. And Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yes! Yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. Couple quick things in chat. You know, Fort. He'll come after us. 
Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Fortuna is the new Warframe expansion that comes out in, like, very soon. All uh, right. Dig yeah. in, fellas. Let's make some ground. And yes, I also met DC Laura and Zazarin, and they were awesome. It was it was so great meeting them. DC Laura was great. Got to give her a hug and everything. She was she was awesome. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Nope. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah. no. You're coming with me. Please, please, you don't need to do this. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, I very much do. So Kep says, Interesting part of this game, my girlfriend's family is the name of O'Driscoll. You mean the Red Dead Redemption O'Driscolls? Whoa! You famous, bro. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Proficient Swede with the $10 tip. Yes, and thank you so much for that, buddy. We also have Epsilon B5 with a $10 tip. Uh, Don't dude. Do this, please. Thank you, man. Thank you. And Eva AG with the $10 tip as well. You mentioned Fallout, and this jumped out of my wallet. Thanks for making every day more special. On, Mr. $10 tip from Eva. You Thank you, my shut friend. shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. Okay. This is one of the coolest parts of the game, by the way. This is the cinematic camera. They don't uh, tell me nothing. I swear. Pretty great. Please, I'll do anything. I don't want to die, mister. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. That's two bones. Does the horse auto move with the cinematic camera? Yes. If you have a waypoint down, or if you have a quest line like this orange or this yellow one, then when you're in cinematic mode, they automatically follow it. And you can actually put your own waypoint down. So if I wanted to just like travel to here, then if I went into the cinematic mode, it would follow that red line exactly. It's pretty awesome. It's a it's a great system for traveling around. Uh, snake bit with a thousand cheer. Thank you so uh, so much for that, my friend. Romeo Cesar, good to see you back. Looking forward to seeing your version of this playthrough. I'm really enjoying your style. Thank you, dude. Lancer with a 300 cheer and Jedi B with the 311. Thank you so much for that, my friend. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Man, the support today. Thank you, dudes. It's so good to be back. So, Bronto Nobs with a 10 gift bomb. Jeez, man. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down, 
Dialogue time. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. Oh. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Woo! Okay. Tigron says, thanks for the sub gift. Hey, my pleasure. Thanks for being a part of our community, buddy. Thank you. Uh, Mano Katsuti, Bloodshot Eyes, the guy posted and Code did not see it. Trying to pass some love to him. What's up, bud? Uh, chat's flying today. I'm sorry if I missed the stuff. Oh! Chaotic Priest says, My father passed away this morning due to cancer. He's been fighting for three years. Thanks for being here, man. The stream helps. I'm just lurking. Chaotic Priest, best of vibes to you, my friend. Very sorry to hear, dude. Best of vibes to you. And thank you, chat, for passing that message to me. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, best of vibes to you, my friend. tough oh this is the the hunting part this was cool <coughs> learn to track and stuff we're gonna starve to death up here mr. Morgan we're okay we have a few cans of food and a rabbit for what 10 12 people when I was in the Navy I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy mr. Pearson we were stranded at sea <laughs> 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted awful. Starving will be. Awful is basically like the Come guts. On, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look at this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn. I imagine. Come on. This way. Beep. Oh, we got it. Sorted, salted, awful. Nice. Hey, there you go, Chaotic Priest. Hope you feel better, buddy. How are you holding Yeah, right, Naros? Hmm. I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Hey, Game is here. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. 
Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Is this a game of the year? Um, I can tell you right now that this is we'll head up this, way. this is going to be a lot ground. of people's game of the year. Yes, and honestly, it's going to deserve being game of the year for a lot of people. I don't know if this is my game of the year yet. I have no idea. Um, but I know that... You've had a lot put on you. One sec. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but you sure weren't good. <laughs> what? Do those terms even go together? I'm a filthy CRPG weeb? Is that even a thing? Um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I know this game is going to be a lot of people's game of the year. I know that this game is going to win people over from God of War. I think a lot of the people that feel like God of War was the game of the year are going to be... Are going to have a hard time deciding between this game and God of War. Um, but I don't know if this is going to be my game of the year yet. Because, first of all, I never know that until I finish a game. And second of all, you guys got to remember, I, I, I really am enjoying this so far, but like it, it's, I, I generally like, you know, I prefer different There's settings and things of that nature. So we'll see. This I have no good. idea yet. Kind of depends on how good the main story is and how, how like, Let's try this you know, way. the pacing is going to be a big deal to me. If, if I can stay like really engaged in this game all the too. way to the end, and that's good. That's no going to be, uh, bad. But if it's too yeah, strong, telling. They won't move. No, shh. Stay quiet. You declare DOS 2 game of the year after 10 hours. Well, DOS 2 is something really special. Like, like, really special. Hey, um, stop here a second. I see something. <laughs> What's DOS 2? Divinity Original Sin 2. It was my game of the year last year. Has deer been here recently? How can you tell? How can you not? That was Let's a walk jerk here. answer. Okay. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Do I like Keep POE, down. Path of Exile? Move oh, big time. Yeah, man. And slowly. What is my current game of the year? I don't really have one. My my game of the year would probably be Pathfinder Kingmaker if it wasn't a buggy mess. Um, I, think so. I really enjoyed God of War. Focus. I thought the main story of Spider-Man was great. Um, I'm really loving this game so far. I think Thronebreaker is insanely unique and interesting. Uh, Kiwami 2 was phenomenal. Kiwami 2 was like... Oh, Kiwami 2 was so good. Um, uh, also, technically, I could put RimWorld as my game of the year for the first time. That honestly may... Even even if I don't play a lot of RimWorld this year, it might get a top 10 spot, just because it can. Um, I mean, I have 300 plus hours in RimWorld. It's no other game this year comes close to that. So no, I, I can't I can't do Warframe as a game of the year because I, I limit it to games that actually released this year. So I mean I could have Fortuna as like an expansion of the year, but I couldn't do Warframe as a game of the year. Bard's Tale is gonna be in my top ten. I don't think it's gonna be my game of the year, but I think it's gonna be in my top ten. But I, I, I don't think Bard's Tale will be a, a game of the year. I mean it's not like, you know, it still has some pretty major features cooking. So Oh yeah, Warframe is technically still in beta, isn't it? That's true. So, Warframe will have a release day one day, and then it may be our game of the year. <laughs> we Happy Few? No. We Happy Few was cool, Down but... There. You see him? I don't know, man. I did you like We Happy Few bow. a lot, but it, mm, I don't know. It had some pretty major issues, Quick too, unfortunately. Good tension on the string good shot. Now it's time for another. Will I be your game of the year? Yes, Resgar. You will be my game of the year. Yeah, dude, I'm really, I, I'm really excited for Fallout 76. 
I mean, it, if the world is amazing enough, like we'll really have to see. Poe two was also fantastic. It's I don't I don't think I don't think Poe two will be my game of the year, but it was a fantastic game. He wants us to get one more, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, P, uh, Poe two is Pillars of Eternity two. Yeah, uh, Deadfire. I'm probably going to be starting another run of Poe. Oh, oh. Oh, I can't talk about it, but we're going to have some very interesting things to talk about considering to uh, POE2 later this year. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can't talk about it though, but stay tuned. Remember this moment. Wow, dude, that, that guy almost didn't even notice. Okay. You pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. If Pathfinder wasn't so buggy, it'd be game of the year? Yeah. How about Subnautica? Did Subnautica release this year? Oh, shit. Oh, dude, my top 10 this year is going to be crazy. Subnautica is incredible. Wow. Wow, dude. Oh, man, it's going to be a tough year. It's going to be a tough year. Jeez. Yeah, maybe we'll have to do like I maybe we'll do a top ten this year and then we'll do like a top twenty as well. <laughs> no, Prey didn't release this year. Uh 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 Moon Crash released this year, which is honestly like by far my DLC of the year. Like, dude, Moon Crash for Prey was awesome. I think that's one of the most underrated DLCs in in years. In years. Um Oh man, I was I was really impressed with Moon Crash. Oh, Monster Hunter released this year too. I had a great time in Monster Hunter. Oh my God! Wow! What a year! BattleTech! Oh, BattleTech! Slow down, chat! Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably KCD right. was good, and even but it was off, it had a lot of issues on release. Still have a big price on our heads. Yeah. This is a big country. We'll Grand. find somewhere to lie low. One sec. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. I, I think uh, KCD has made a lot of progress. It's been pretty good, but had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. Graveyard keeper, one best more. ending for sure. We ain't feeding a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, uh, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. 
A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. 